Questions for Trey? Trey, I know I did mention that uh, you had gotten LASIK eye uh, surgery during the morning. So you look, kind of went behind uh, that, that decision. Um, I would say, you know, when I looked at the end of my season last year, I was actually, I would say, far side so hard to see things far away. And, um, you know, it wasn't crazy, but, you know, as a receiver, you, you know, I have 20 20 vision. Um, I think it's very important that you do. So it's something that I looked into. And, Something that I was decided to do. Did, have you noticed that it, it's worked in terms of picking up the ball? And sure. That? Yeah, you see the precision, the depth for your depth precision, um, the HD of the vision. You see a huge difference. And, uh, um, well worth getting it done. Is there, is there adjustment time to like you figure out how to see the ball and you don't see it perfectly? So now you see it perfectly, maybe it's getting there quicker than you expect. Is there an adjustment like that? I mean, I would just say like. It's the depth precision, like, you know, when you're seeing something far away, you don't really know, like, how fast it's coming or where is it, you know, and you ever look at the ball faster. So um, that's probably what I've noticed out of getting in, so, yeah. It's, a, it's still preseason, obviously, but uh, you got a big play. You know, the, it's, what, how did that feel, uh, really confidence-wise, just to get it done on the field like that? Uh, I mean, it happened so fast, you know, people ask me, like, I, I, it's crazy. You know, I just remember looking up on my shoulder, looking up at the other, and next thing you know, you know, it just came down with the catch, you know, so that's one of those ones where you probably won't get that in practice, but when it comes in the game, you got to make it. How, how different is the vibe in that receiver room with Devontae back then? That's my guy, man. Uh, I know I was happy to see him. Uh, obviously, you know, it is what it is. The offense runs through him and the receiver room does as well. So uh, he's a leader. You know, having him is just like, a, I would say, a confidence booster. You know, he's you know, one of the best, if not the best. So I'm just having him alongside of all of us and kind of just, you know, how he teaches us and, you know, critiquing and all that type of stuff. Uh, very good to have. He said, you know, he, obviously his son just showed up, but he also said that you were kind of his son too. Oh, uh, <laughs> he's in a brotherly way. Uh, he's like a big brother. I'm not a good brother. <laughs> how that relationship um, kind of built to where uh, it is right now? I mean, it is Devontae Adams, obviously, and, you know, all respect. Uh, your way as well, but it is about the Adams. Uh, right. Was it kind of a slow go or pretty immediate? I think when you really get to know Tay and like who he is, you know, I, I guess it's just we, we kind of think the same way, you know. So for me and him, we kind of instantly clicked. You know, I came in as a rookie, and like I just said, we value the same things, you know. So when that happens, you normally you come really close to him and to, or to whoever that is with. Uh, and me and him, we just really hit it off. And I would say, really, this year, last year, we like. We got closer as the year went, but this year we really got super close. And like I said, it's just like young people. What do you think is the biggest thing that, you know, whether it's on the field or off the field, in your personal life, what's the biggest thing that you would say you've taken from Devontae? That's, that's a great question. Um, a lot of things, man. I mean, like, I'm, I'm sure he's told you, but like, I try to ask him a question all the time. Now we're closer, it's just kind of like a conversation. But before then, man, it was just like, you know, like how he always says, like how he measures, you know, it's, it's, it's about greatness. He doesn't measure his battles and wins and losses, which, you know, for me, you know, is very important. You know, if I'm my best self, then that makes the team better. So kind of that standpoint, you know, a lot of so, too many things to name on the football field. Just, you know, how to play around with DBs and that type of thing. And uh, he's the best at it. So. How big of a blessing is it for a young player to have arguably the best receiver in the NFL that is your go-to guy? It's a blessing, honestly. You know, I... I always think about that because, you know, there's 31 other teams and there's 31 other wide receiver rooms. But luckily enough, I got to be in this one with him, and uh, it's a huge part of uh, my development. I know you, you guys clicked instantly, but you, you were in high school. He was the best, you know, best receiver in the league. I mean, was there a moment of, like, oh, my God, I want that out? I mean, I'll tell you this. I remember 2022, so obviously I got drafted in 2023. I was watching the Raiders and Chiefs game uh, at the Chiefs, and, crazy game and all the stuff that happened. I just remember like my coach, we came in and watched film and he was like butting a bunch of NFL receivers and all we watched was Devontae Adams, his release, his release, his route running and all that. And then it just so happened one day I woke up and I was a Raider. I'm like, that's my teammate now. Wow. And then just hit it off and that's my guy. Trey, you mostly played outside of Mr. Vikings with Devontae not playing on the way you played most of the slot last year. Do you feel more comfortable in that position? I mean, you mentioned kind of running both ways. Actually, I actually, so if I, I think I had like 300 snaps last year, I actually played 200 outside. So the slot actually, um, 
as you can see, with all three of us, we kind of play everywhere. You know, there's really no slot receiver. And the majority of see me outside, you know, just because of, you know, my skill set and what I can do. But um, I feel comfortable anywhere. You know, that's the, the value that us three, me, Jacoby, and Tay bring that, you know, we're versatile to be able to play inside, play outside, and just kind of hide people, you know, not just people from Keanu. Like, well, he's lining up here, he's lining up here. So, um, but we'll definitely see more outside. I know we've, uh, we've asked you a lot about Devonta, we just mentioned Jacoby too. Like, it seems like this is by the offseason where a lot of people are on the said, oh, like, that dude is legit. Like, did, did you kind of feel that? And what have you thought about being around him? I mean, he's the most underrated player. I mean, I, I watch him run routes and do things. I'm just like, how do you do it? You know, he, he, he's like, his releases. And I think the, the thing that flies on the radar, and a lot of people around him being know, he's just a dog. I mean, he'll go in there and hit a D line and put him on their back. You know what I mean? And, I, to be a receiver to do that, that's, that's different. You know, that's kind of a tight end job or, you know, a lineman or running back job, but he does it. You know, he's just a dog. And, you know, same with Tay. The, the, those are like my big brothers, you know, but I beat up on Cole more than I do Tay, so. Um, but, you know, he's a good part, too. He, he gives me a lot of things that, you know, he's like, you work on this, do this. And, you know, I, I kind of pick his brain just as much as I do Tay's. As you evolve in your career, uh, does, does the, the mind game and the, the fundamentals and the technique, does it become, I wouldn't say fun, I'm not saying that, but you know, just part of the game that you appreciate a little bit more and get into a little more. For sure. You know, like going back on like we were talking about Taylor, like, you know, it, it's crazy to think about like, you know, maybe the second play of the game is a run play. And you outside release and do like a little stutter or something. And you know, next time you do it, he's like, oh, he's their stutter, now he's gonna do this. You're just playing mind games with him. So to be able to do that and know that what you're doing is huge because I kind of did it a little this week in Minnesota, like, you know, run play and that, that doesn't apply to my rules, that I'm able to you know, have some freedom. And then it kind of sets up some stuff later on. So it's fun, you know, it, it definitely works. Trey, kind of piggybacking off of that, where do you feel is the biggest difference for you from last season to this season in terms of your personal growth? Yeah, I would just say, you know, knowing the ends about everything, you know, um, as a rookie, every week is a new week. You're learning something new. Um, Thursday games, Saturday games, Sunday games, every, every week is something new. So uh, kind of knowing what to expect and then um, knowing what they expect of me and then doing my job and not just doing my job, doing it really well. You, uh, we talked a lot about the, the success that you had in Tampa. A lot of you looked really good plays showed up a lot. There was, there was a couple of plays that you looked like you didn't love uh, that you had with Coach Ross, things like that. Um, how tough is it to move on? Like, how, how, it seems like you get frustrated with it. Like, how quickly can you move on and how tough is that process? Yeah, I mean, you know, it, a lot of things go into that. I know you guys don't know, but a lot of things go into it. What was the play call? What was I running? Was I running the right route? You know, was it the right read? So a lot of things go into that. But at the end of the day, being a receiver, if the ball sticks your hand, you should catch it. So um, knowing the amount of work that I put in and, and knowing how I feel about myself, you know, it's, sometimes it gets frustrated. But it doesn't down me because I know what I can do. You know what I mean? And uh, obviously, this past week was kind of displayed that. So, you know, it doesn't weigh on me. It's not something that I'm looking at like, oh, my gosh, you know, because like I said, I, I know the steps that I took this offseason, and, and I know what I'm going to do. So, obviously, you're in the back end of you know this quarterback battle between you know Aiden and Gardner, but obviously you've been with Aiden since you know rookie mini camp last year. How comfortable would you say you are with him from then to now, just on the field and being in sync with another? Yeah, I mean, he, he's my guy. I mean, he's, you know, every time I see him, he crack a joke. You know, so um, very comfortable. I mean, I know he trusts me. You know, and I got his back, and he's got mine. So. Uh, whenever he puts that ball in the air, it's easy to see the guy be mine or nobody. So, you know, I know you want to give him interceptions that, that he was targeting me. And like I said, just have his back because you know, a lot of people understand the quarterbacks have a lot to go through, especially in the NFL. It's, it's, it's a very mental game for them. So just try to help them out as much as you can. Awesome. Thank you, Trey. Thank you, Trey.